And then he asked me if TT can live with us. I want TT to live with us forever because she's now the closest thing that he has to a mom. After all he's had to go through, how, how could you deny him that? And because of what? Because uh, what some strangers might think or say or spew some hatred based on um, some ill-advised, illogical, uh, misinformed tabloid. Naya Rivera's ex-husband, Ryan Dorsey, is speaking out. The actor took to Instagram to seemingly address reports that he is living with the late Glee star sister following his ex's death, saying he can't believe how people online have reacted with such hateful comments. It was brought to my attention that there's a lot of people that have a, um, a lot to say and uh, have opinions on a family's tragic situation. 99% of strangers that don't even know this family. And I'll be honest, I probably read about 10 and that was enough to know that is why I don't read comments. Um, you know, there's people making judgments, um, they're making assumptions, they're sending um, terrible messages, wishing death upon strangers that they truly know next to zero about. Uh, it's really insane, but I'll just say a couple of things about that. One, it's truly sad that this is the world that we live in, um, where people were raised to think it's okay to just spew uh, hatred in general, um, especially when uh, especially to make statements about a family who are dealing with a tragedy that I hope is so unimaginable that um, you or anyone that is close to you ever has to go through. He also said he's lost 20 pounds and has trouble sleeping since the mother of his son passed away and also expressed his sadness that his son Josie will have to grow up without his mom. I probably lost a little over 20 pounds. Um, I don't get good sleep. I'm sad every day. I wake up. I go to sleep sad every night staring at the ceiling or I'm staring at the wall and uh, I think to myself how, how lucky I am to, to still have my mom and to have her help out in my life still and, and then I think about how he won't have that same opportunity in his future um, and it makes it makes me beyond sad and I ask myself why you know what did he do to deserve this what well, I know he didn't do anything to deserve this, but um, the things people have said are sad. Um, when five of the longest days of your life go by, when a young boy's mom is missing, and you know the result of the search, you know what that result is going to be when when it ends, and the conversation that you're going to have to have with him. It's sad. And when the young boy says, oh, do you think they will find her? I just want them to find her. And then you know that he's so smart. Um, and you know, he witnessed a nightmare right before his eyes. And he knows that even if they find her, that uh, she's not coming home. It's sad. Naya's sister, Nikayla, previously seemingly addressed the reports as well on her Instagram. On her Instagram story, she wrote, In the darkest time of my life, the only thing that is important is my friends and family. Showing up for my nephew, even though I can't show up for myself. I'm not concerned with the way things look because no one can see each agonizing moment we all endure. What matters most, I've learned, is to show compassion, not to judge others, and never take a moment of life for granted. I hope you all can do the same. In July, Naya Rivera drowned after jumping into the water from a pontoon boat on Lake Piru in California with her young son. Josie was later found unharmed but alone on the boat, and her body was discovered days later in the lake. Her official cause of death was drowning and was ruled to be an accident. She is survived by her five-year-old son, Josie, who she shares with ex-husband Ryan Dorsey.